Yo, long time no talk, feel me? Uh, I've been sick for a while. I still got this lingering cough. Um, it wasn't COVID, thank God. Uh, I've been sick for a little bit. Couldn't really talk without coughing my lungs up. But you know, we back, you know what I'm saying? A lot of stuff has happened since, uh, a lot of stuff has happened since I last spoke to y'all. The Falcons won their game. They finally beat the Buccaneers, which is something that I definitely didn't expect, but I'm happy they did it. Um, yeah, it, it, it's, it's, I'm about to go back and ask. It's, it's a whole bunch of shit going on. Um, I, I keep seeing videos on my recommended talking about the Falcons are about to make some crazy moves. Listen, I still think we would have made it to playoffs if Pitts was okay. I still think Ritter, I think a, a rookie quarterback needs a really good tight end to flourish in his first two years. And we got robbed of that, unfortunately, due to the uh, injury of Kyle Pitts. So, Ritter, and Ritter still did well. You know what I'm saying? For for his circumstances, he still did fine. So I'm not even mad at Ritter. I'm not really mad at the team. I'm more so mad at the management for not picking up on certain things, I should say. Hold on. All right, I tried to make that video outside, but it's cold out there. But yeah, um... There's certain things that I expected from the Atlanta Falcons front office that they just didn't um they didn't really execute on. I, I think that we should have been more prepared for injuries like Pitts. I think we should have been more prepared for um certain players not to execute late into the, the year. And I'm not even really mad at us missing the playoffs because we all we were tied for second place with three other teams. The Buccaneers just made it by. Um, I'm not really worried about anybody. I'm not really worried about how far they go in the year. You know how the NFL loves to give Tom Brady anything he wants, so I wouldn't be surprised if he was back in the Super Bowl again just off the help of the refs. So, I'll see how that goes. But, um, yeah, man, I'm not... I think I, w I was more in a, in, a, in a weird state about the Falcons a few days ago, and I watched the whole Buccaneers game, and I'm sitting there, I'm like, okay... Am I supposed to celebrate? Like, am I supposed to be happy? I, I don't know how to feel because we missed playoffs and we beat them, but at what cost? You know what I'm saying? It didn't hurt them and it didn't help us. So what was the point? You know, we, we could have just went out there and looked at each other for three hours. You know what I'm saying? It wouldn't have mattered. Um, but yeah, man, um, I'm not sure where the Falcons are going to go this offseason. I hope we load up on some pass rushes, some linebackers. Um, I think we need to start building around Ritter. Get Mariota D. Get Mariota out of my face. Just get Mariota out of my face. Please get Mariota out of my face. I'm, I'm I'm tired of it. I'm tired of people earlier in the year trying to tell me that Mariota was good. Y'all were wrong, and I kept telling y'all were wrong. And people want to explain, try to, oh, he can do this, he can do that. He's not an Oregon Duck anymore. He's not a, well, I feel like he was on the Eagles at one point. He's not he, he's not a Titan anymore. We got the least version of Marcus Mariota. And Mariota wasn't even that good to begin with. So we got the least version of a not already good quarterback. That's not that's not good. We had a quarterback that we just drafted and we, he wasn't getting any reps until it didn't matter anymore. People I, I I can go back into the comments of like my first week one to like week four videos. Give Mariota a chance. Give him a chance. Give Mariota a no. I'm not no. I'm not giving Mariota anything because he didn't give us anything. How about that? I'm not giving Marcus Mariota the benefit of anything. He barely gives us the benefit of the doubt. Falling on the ground, throwing the football, looking around like that. Every time it's time for us to win a game, he's throwing a pick. Every single time. No, no, Marcus. No, Marcus. No. No. It's okay. I'm done. So Marcus Mariota, he can go. He can go. I don't. I don't know what team's gonna go to. I don't care. Get off the Falcons. We have a quarterback right here. If we can sign a veteran quarterback to be behind Ritter for any reason, injury, whatever, get something like that. But for the love of everything, get Mariota off my team. He's not a veteran quarterback that needs to be be behind Ritter. That's not what's needed here. That's not what's needed here. So, um. Yeah, man. Everything else, I, I, I'm, I'm scared about how long Cordell's gonna pay, play. Um, I hope he plays for much longer. Even though I'm not sure how old he is, but I, I'm pretty sure he doesn't have that much, um, 
left in him as far as like just longevity because he's been playing for a long time at a high, high, high level. And he's been underrated for so long because of the fact that he's been on bad teams, you know. Um, and he broke a record on the Falcons this year. So hopefully we get more years out of him. Um, I feel like we're not going to get Pitts back until like mid-season next year. Um, Dean P's retired. Um, that's interesting. I, I would like to see where we're going as far as defensive coordinator. Now Now I'm a little bit more excited for the defensive side of the ball. Um, hopefully uh, we get someone that knows how to play defense. You know, it's a lot. I The Falcons history, well, let me not say that. The Falcons' future, I'll say, they, it's not bad. It's not bad. They act like they don't know what they're doing a lot of times, and that's what makes me mad. But I'm really trying my best to be hopeful, and I hope that they realize that they have some really, really good players on this team, that if you put them in the right positions, A.J. Terrell, Kyle Pitts, Cordell Patterson, Desmond Ritter, you had, you, and, and that's not Jalen Hawkins. You have a lot of people on there, and obviously there's more, but you have a whole, pe- whole bunch of people on there. Young Way Koo, that have showed themselves to not only the Falcons organization, but to the NFL and to the rest of the fans that they are capable. So put them in the best position to be capable and to execute in a way to where we can have maybe have a 10-win season for the first time in a long time. Nine win season, something like that. This, this, you know, and I'm somebody like, 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 I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna push for a nine win season. I'm pushing for a ten win season because ten, ten wins will probably get us to the best of our division, especially if it stays the way it is this year. Because the way it was going, Carolina was gonna lose, New Orleans was gonna be third, Falcons were gonna be second, Bucks were gonna be first. But for some reason, we only had first place for like a week, I think. And you know why? Because we stopped executing and the Saints started to execute and the Panthers started to execute. It didn't really help much, but it got them tied with us. You know what I'm saying? So, so yeah, man. Um, I think the Bills are winning it all this year. I just think they have the perfect story. Um, I really hope the Eagles don't make it far. They, the only people I care about on the Eagles are Jalen Hurts and Devontae Smith. But as far as the rest of the team, I want them to lose the first game. But Depending on whoever wins between the Bucks and the Cowboys, you know, I, I don't even know how that's going to go. I'm terrified how that's going to go. I, I I think the Cowboys can win, but I'm not sure the Cowboys can beat the Eagles twice. So that's a that's another thing. But we'll talk about that later. Um, I I may do videos like like just after the games of the playoffs. I, I may just do that. So we'll figure that out as time goes on. But yeah, man. Um, and and I heard one of the playoff games is supposed to be hosted at the Benz. I'm not sure why they're, I'm not sure why that was a thing. I, I guess because we have the one of the coolest arenas ever. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, man. Uh, everything's all right. You know, I'm, I'm I'm proud of the Falcons. I screamed at them a lot this year, but they made it close at the end of the year. You know, obviously I want them to make playoffs, but um. I'm just tired of them not executing. You know, I'm tired of them having things in the middle of their hand and then dropping it. I, figuratively and literally, I'm just, I'm very much tired of it. So I need to see some moves this year in free agency, in the off season for us to get some more good players on this team so we can stop being looked at as just this blowing leads organization. You know what I'm saying? And the best part about it, Matt Ryan had a bad year too. So, I mean, you know, everyone's going, oh, the Colts are going to. No, they're not. No, they're not. Matt Ryan got benched for Nick Foles and he couldn't even help him. It's over. He's washed. You're done. So, that's always a good thing. But, yeah. Um, Sleet, I'm sorry. I know you're watching. I'm sorry. I I, I had to throw that in there. But, uh, yeah, man. We'll see what happens as far as these playoffs go. I'm not ready for the for the football season to be over, but it is it's, it's almost a month out but from, from being over. And Rihanna's performing the Super Bowl, so that's good. You know what I'm saying? That's always good. I wish she was wearing Atlanta Falcon jersey while she was doing it, but you know, one day. We're gonna make it one day. But uh yeah, man. Sorry for being away for so long. I I, I was very badly sick and then I had to go right back to school. And I I got school for four more months and then I graduate. So 
that's that's the thing. So if I'm more sporadic on the video, just know I'm just I'm doing work and stuff. It, it, it's a lot of stuff is happening at the moment. I gotta make sure that stuff is done before I can focus on anything else. So, um, yeah, everything's good though. But uh, y'all be safe, man. Thank y'all for watching. If you guys like the video, like the video, subscribe if you're new, subscribe if you have not already. Comment down below. What can I do next? Man, stay safe, drink water. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next video, man.